Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, we'll check out and discuss the latest big update for the amazing OpenXR toolkit and my best VR settings for the Reverb G2, Quest 2 and Vario Aero. After more developments, I'm happy to announce this exciting update, which is version 1.1 and includes added support for foveated rendering with eye tracking on Vario devices, the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept and the Pimax headsets and an overhauled post-processing tool which allows users to adjust the image display in the headset as well as some other useful updates to some already impressive tools. I also want to let you know that we're in the process of making a video interview with the team so thanks for all your questions which we will be addressing and look out for that video very soon. As always I prefer to get my information straight from the source and I think you'll find this incredibly insightful and useful. The first main update allows more users to utilize the foveated rendering with eye tracking tool. As I just mentioned, this will work with the Vario devices, the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept, and the Pimax headsets with extension modules, which is great. For a detailed video tutorial about this tool, check out the video above. I'll also include all the links in the video description for your convenience. Here you can see the OpenXR Toolkit menu, and you'll notice there's a tab called Appearance, which is the other main feature for this update. The Post Processing tool allows you to adjust the image displayed in the headset, which allows you to adjust the exposure, vibrance, highlights and shadows of the image. So you can really set this up according to your preferences. Here you can see my settings for my Reverb G2, but you've got to remember this is a very personalized setting as it's based on what I'm actually seeing through the headset. So do please share your own settings with us once you've tried it in the comments below. Hopefully by going through each tool, it'll help you understand the changes you make as you use it. The first one is contrast, and this adjusts the difference between bright and dark pixels. Neutral is set to 50. Brightness adjusts those pixels that are not already extremely bright and preserves the highlights and adjusts the midtones, aka the gamma. Exposure adjusts the brightness and darkness of the entire image, again neutral is set at 50. Saturation adjusts the colorfulness of the entire image. It affects all colors and pixels in the image equally, regardless of how saturated they already are. Neutral is set to 50. Vibrance adjusts the intensity of the more muted colors while leaving the saturated colors untouched. Neutral is set to zero for this setting. Highlights adjusts the highlight details in reducing the intensity of the brightest pixels. Neutral is set to 100 for this tool. And finally shadows, which adjusts the details that appear in shadows in brightening the darkest pixels. Neutral is set to zero for this tool. So these tools are gonna to be really useful for you to dial in your own settings according to your preferences. There are also some really finely tuned quick access presets which you can try too. They are applied on top of the individual post-processing settings, effectively augmenting, but not replacing them. And they are very quick to set up. They are called the sunglasses presets, which consist of light and dark, which create two levels of sunglasses, adjusted to reduce exposure and low light details, while preserving perceived contrast. The other preset is called True Night, which is for night flying. And if you wear these glasses exclusively when flying at night, you'll feel the lights popping up in a sea of darkness surrounding you. It really is an improvement. I've been experimenting with both of these presets and it definitely makes a huge difference when it comes to reducing that washed out look which happens in strong sunlight as well as improved and more defined lighting at night. I think this tool will please a lot of you who find the lighting to be overwhelming sometimes in VR. It's very difficult to visually show you these tools on a video. I tried the filming through the lens but it wasn't very effective so I would encourage you to try them yourself and leave your feedback in the comments below as it will really help others navigate the changes made too and hopefully help them get dialed in as well. The following updates and changes have also been implemented in version 1.1. You can see the list here from the change log. We've got added support to disable image post-processing entirely. This disables any post-processing which might be changing the pixels the game is sending out to the headset. The only post-processing stage remaining is the individual RGB gains adjustments found in the system tab, effectively turning the entire post-processing stage to a simple pass-through when both post-processing is off and RGB gains are set to 50 which is the neutral setting. We've also got improvements to the sharpening of AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR. We've now got a CPU bound indicator and CPU headroom measurements in the overlay. We've also now got a really useful option to disable the toolkit for each application from the companion app. And I know a lot of you will be very happy to hear that you can now disable the timeout in the menu. There are some other tools on there which I won't go through, but you can have a look at the changelog and see them listed there. Since using this updated version of the OpenXR Toolkit, I've been able to dial in my best VR settings for the HP Reverb G2, Meta Quest 2, and Vario Aero. First we'll look at the Windows and Nvidia settings I use for all three headsets. 
Game mode is turned off and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling or HAGS is also turned off. Here you can see my Nvidia driver settings. It's important to know that I'm not capping the frames at the moment. I'm enjoying quite high frame rates ranging from around 38 to 50. So I'm allowing it to fluctuate and it seems to be working really well. And remember, if you want to have more time to look at these screens, you can either pause the video or take a screenshot and use it for reference. First of all, we'll take a look at my best VR settings for the HP Reverb G2. And for each headset, I'll go through the OpenXR toolkit settings that I'm using, but I won't be showing you the post-processing settings for each headset because they are so personalized. So here are my performance settings for the G2. And here are my in-game VR settings for the G2. And here's my OpenXR developer tool settings. Notice I've got motion projection disabled as I much prefer it off. Next, we have the best VR settings for the MetaQuest 2. And here you can see how I set the performance tab in the OpenXR toolkit for this headset. And here are my in-game VR settings for the MetaQuest 2. In the Oculus app, I set the refresh rate to 90 Hz with a rendering resolution of 4128 by 2096. And I'm still using the Oculus Tray tool to disable asynchronous time warp as well as link sharpening. I don't use the link sharpening because I do that in the OpenXR toolkit. And lastly, my best VR settings for the Vario Aero. And here you can see the OpenXR toolkit performance tab. And here are my in-game VR settings. And in the Vario base software, I've got the resolution quality set to high, which is default. As you can see, these updates add more options for us as VR users, and I'm especially enjoying the latest sunglasses presets. For more videos about the OpenXR toolkit, check out this playlist, which will go through the various tools available in this must-have application. And please do let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll do my best to help, and Matt will also be chiming into the comments too in case you've got some questions that I can't answer. I hope you found this content useful, so please smash that like button to show your support, and I look forward to making the next video soon. And in the meantime, as always, take care, and stay safe.